angles whose vertex is on the circle, tangent, chord, and secant. Kapag ang vertex ng angle ay nandun mismo sa circle, parehas lang siya ng inscribed angle. The measure of the angle whose vertex is on the circle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Angle EFI is equal to one half the measure of arc EF. Line RQ is tangent to circle J at point L. The measure of arc OP is 59. The measure of angle PKL is 83. And the measure of angle KLO is 71. Find the measure of arc OL. Para malaman ko ano yung sukat ng arc OL, gamitin natin ang inscribed angle. Alam natin na ang inscribed angle ay one half the measure of its intercepted arc. At ang angle PKL ay isang inscribed angle. Kung saan ang kanyang intercepted arc ay yung arc PL. Ibig sabihin, angle PKL is equal to one half the measure of arc PL. Kung ang angle natin ay 83, isa substitute lang natin siya dito. 83 equals one half the measure of arc PL. Para masolve kung ilan si yung total ng arc PL, multiply both sides by two para makancel itong dalawa. Two times 83, that is 166 equals the measure of arc PL. Yung PL na yan, ang total daw niyan ay 166. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add ko si arc PO, and arc OL, 166 dapat ang total nila. Meron ka ng 59 sa arc PO. Ilan na lang si arc OL? That is 107. Ang ginawa lang para mas madali, 166 minus 59. Ang sagot, 107. The measure of arc OL is 107. Next, find the measure of arc PK. Pwede nating magamit yung measure ng angle na ito. Kaya nga nang sabi, the measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. At alam natin na si angle KLO ay isang inscribed angle. Ang kanyang intercepted arc ay ang arc OK. Ibig sabihin, the measure of angle KLO is equal to one half of arc OK. Ang angle natin ay 71. Kaya 71 equals 1 half the measure of arc OK. Multiply both sides by 2. Makakancel ito. 2 times 71 is 142. Alam natin na ang buong measure ng arc OK ay 142. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add mo si arc OP at si arc PK, 142 yung total nila. Meron ka ng 59. Ilan na lang si arc PK? That is 83. Para masolve yan, 142 minus 59, the answer is 83. The measure of arc PK is 83. Next naman, find the measure of the remaining arc, measure of arc KL. Ang buong circle, ang total ay 360. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag-add mo si arc LO, arc OP, arc PK, and arc KL, ang total dapat ay 360. So para masolve yung natitirang KL, i-add mo lang yung, yung mga arcs, then minus 360. Ang sagot, 111 degrees. So the measure of arc KL is 111. Buo na lahat ng measure ng arcs, pwede na tayong mag-solve para sa angle. Find the measure of angle KL. Q. Itong angle na to ay angle whose vertex is on the circle. And the measure of this angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. At ang intercepted arc niya dito ay yung 111. Kunin mo lang yung kalahati niyan at ang sagot ay 55.5. Sunod naman, find the measure of angle O, L, R. Ito ay angle whose vertex is on the circle. At alam natin na ang sukat nito ay one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Ang intercepted arc niya ay yung 107. Ang gawin mo lang, i-divide mo lang si 107 by 2, yun ang magiging sagot ng angle. The answer, 53.5. The measure of angle OLR is 53.5. Five. Practice time. Line HI is tangent to the circle at point B. The measure of arc BE is 122. The measure of arc EF 
is 88 and the measure of angle FBG is 36. For number 1, complete the measures of the arcs. Number 2, solve for angle EBH. And for number 3, solve for the measure of angle GBI. Pause the video para mas mahaba yung oras ng pagsasagot. Later, we'll pause the answer and the solution. For number 1, complete the measure of the arcs. Meron na tayong arc BE na 122. Meron na tayong arc EF na 88. Wala pa si arc FG and arc GB. Unahin natin yung arc FG. Meron na tayong mga videos tungkol sa inscribed angle. Yung shortcut natin pag mula inscribed angle papuntang arc times 2. So yung 36, ita times 2 mo lang siya. Ang sagot, 72. Yun yung arc niya. Pero kapag galing sa arc, papuntang in inscribe angle, i-divide by 2 mo naman si, si intercepted arc. Meron na tayong FG na 72. Kulang na lang natin yung arc GB. Ang total ng circle ng arcs niya yan, dapat ay 360. Meron ka ng 122, 88, and 72. Ilan na lang ang kulang para mabuo yung 360? That is 78. For number 2, solve for the measure of angle EBH. Ito yon. Ang intercepted arc niya ay yung 122. I-divide lang natin yan by 2. Yon ang magiging sagot ng ating angle. That is 61. For number 3, find the measure of angle GBI. Ganun din. Hanapin natin ang kanyang intercepted arc, which is arc BG. I-divide by 2 mo lang si 78, yun ang magiging sukat ng iyong angle. And that is 39. Thanks for watching. See you on the next lesson.